if there is one thing that we all will appreciate in our smartphones today it is better battery life because modern smartphones simply guzzle power by the bucket full the bigger screens the more powerful processors all those advanced apps many of them working in the background this all translates to shorter and shorter battery life silicon carbon batteries are here to help with better battery life how good are they how does this new technology work come with me hello this is mr mobility silicon carbon batteries are a new type of battery developed from traditional lithium ion batteries that have been used in phones for years if you check the specifications of your smartphone chances are that it uses a lithium ion battery and lithium ion batteries have been around for a long time to improve battery life there are certain approaches that engineers and manufacturers adopt one you can always put a bigger battery in there right the bigger your foil tank the longer your car can go you can also fine tune your chipset your processors so that they are more energy conserving they don't guzzle a lot of power while in use you can also reduce the size of the screen yes in case you did not know the screen of your phone is the biggest power guzzler on that phone it's absolutely once your screen lights up your phone is guzzling your battery down you can reduce the size or the resolution or the advanced capabilities that exist in the screen of a phone interestingly most manufacturers have decided that they are not reducing the sizes of the screen so the screens keep getting bigger and the resolution keeps getting higher i don't think that there's any long-term solution coming from the direction of screen size and resolution you're not going to get better battery life from that in the future we have to get it from somewhere else and that somewhere else most likely will come from processors and software optimization as well as improved battery technology silicon carbon batteries are one of the earliest stages of improved battery technology that we are seeing what's the big advantage about silicon carbon batteries it is that this new technology allows engineers to put in bigger battery capacity without making the phone bigger or thicker bigger battery capacity not necessarily a bigger battery in terms of physical size for example when we're talking about capacity 20 years ago if you wanted a 256 gigabyte memory card it was big really big and then technology kept on improving such that you could have that 256 gigabyte of storage in smaller sizes in sm much smaller sizes that is capacity the capacity has stayed the same 256 gig but the physical size of the device carrying that capacity has reduced think of how battery size in terms of physical size but instead of having 5000 milliamp hour in that battery of this size you are now able to put 6000 in a battery of the same size so the size is able to stay the same while you can increase the capacity also you can keep the capacity the same right you can have a 5000 milliamp hour battery in a smaller size that's the kind of advantage that silicon carbon batteries is bringing to the industry we're having flip phones which by nature are very thin silicon carbon batteries will allow you put in more battery in flip phones foldable phones also you are going to be able to put in bigger battery capacity in phones of the same size i'll give you an example there are certain new phones in the market already fitted with silicon carbon batteries those phones are the sizes that we're used to seeing and to using but they now have a much bigger battery on the inside so these are phones that traditionally 
from their size, they would have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. But with silicon carbon batteries, you are able to put 6,000 in there. You are able to put 6,002. In some cases, you are able to put 5,004. In some cases, 5,006. In some cases, 5,008, 5,009. Over time, I expect that in the same size of phone, we'll probably be able to put a 7,000 milliamp hour battery using silicon carbon technology. I'm going to repeat the big advantage that silicon carbon batteries bring to the table is that they allow engineers give you bigger battery capacity for the same size or the same battery capacity for a smaller size. This year, we have been hearing talks of Samsung and Apple releasing ultra slim devices with five point something millimeter thickness or six millimeter thickness. Silicon carbon batteries <laughs> will help put a robust battery capacity in that kind of a phone. Because one of the consequences of having a slim phone over the years has been that you are going to get a very small battery. Check the history of mobile technology. Every time a slim phone is, is released, you get a much smaller battery capacity and terrible battery life. Now, silicon carbon batteries will ensure that when a slim phone is reduced, you can still get something like 4,005 to 5,000 milliamp hour capacity in such a phone. That's the kind of advantage that you get from this new technology. Now, how does it work? Silicon carbon batteries use a combination of silicon and carbon in place of graphite that is used in lithium ion batteries. I'm not going to go into too many technical details because I know many of us are not technical. I just give you enough you know, to have an idea of how it works. So this is not a deep dive. This is me talking to the average phone user. Lithium ion batteries have a component on the inside that is made out of graphite. What silicon carbon batteries do is that it takes a combination of silicon and carbon to replace that item that is graphite in lithium ion batteries. Why is this replacement necessary? The silicon carbon combination is what allows you to pack in more power into the same size, into the same uh, space as what graphite normally does. So that's where the magic happens. That's where all the technical, well, most of the technical things happen. There are other technical details involved, but like I said, I'm addressing regular phone users and I'm not going to dive into too many technical things so you can understand. The important thing is this that the combination of silicon and carbon used in silicon carbon batteries is what makes the bigger battery capacity possible. As a matter of fact, in electric vehicles, silicon carbon batteries are getting popular. Tesla is using, using them. Other electric vehicle manufacturers are using them. Why? Range has always been a problem with electric vehicles because you need more electrical power for the car to go further to go for hours without running out of power. And silicon carbon technology has made it possible to put bigger batteries in electric cars. This component called graphite in a lithium ion battery has been replaced with a combination of silicon and carbon. And that's where this type of batteries derive their name, silicon carbon batteries. The pros of silicon carbon batteries bigger battery capacity without necessarily increasing the size of the battery or of the phone. Because of that factor, you can also have slimmer phones with good battery capacity. Also, you can have foldable phones with better battery life. Anyone who has used a foldable flip phone, I own one, and one of the <laughs> disadvantages is that the battery capacity is rather small. Mine has a 4,000 mAh battery. Standard phones around me have 5,000. My battery is always running out faster than my, my wife's phone battery. It's always running out faster than my colleague's phone batteries because it's a smaller battery. 6.9 inch display with a 4,000 mAh battery. <gasps> Silicon carbon batteries will allow manufacturers of flip phones to put in more standard batteries without increasing the thickness. So those are the pros of silicon carbon batteries. But as with all technology, there is always a con. 
as there are advantages, there are disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages of silicon carbon batteries? They tend to heat up faster. Yes, they tend to heat up faster. And when they do, they tend to expand more than lithium ion batteries do, which increases the chances of damage to that battery. So there's a question of longevity. Will silicon carbon batteries last as long as lithium ion batteries do? Not likely from what we know right now, from what scientists know right now. Not, not likely. They are working on it. They are using a combination of factors and implementations to try to stabilize silicon carbon batteries as much as possible such that the wear and tear on it is reduced. And hopefully sometime in the future, it can match up to the kind of longevity that we get from lithium ion batteries. Also, there is a huge chance that manufacturers are going to have to implement slower charging. When I say slower charging, I don't mean really slow charging, but I mean not the fastest fast charging that we see around. And why is this? Because of the heat factor that I mentioned. If a phone or a battery heats up considerably while charging, the trick is to not charge it faster. Reduce the charging speed, right? By reducing the charging speed, you reduce the chances of it overheating to the point where it degrades. With silicon carbon batteries, you might find a situation where your manufacturer does not put in 90 watts fast charge, does not put in 65, does not put in 80, maybe 45. For now, this is hypothetical, right? But the idea is that if the heating factor is a problem, then you might not see silicon carbon phones with the fastest fast charging in the market. Of course, the first generation of silicon carbon phones still have some of the fastest charging standards. The jury is out. We're going to see how they perform, how well they do. And then uh, engineers and manufacturers will take feedback from how well they do and decide whether to throttle the charging a little bit, just reduce it a little bit, or let's keep going full speed ahead. Of course, it's new technology. There are always issues, right? That's how we improve as a society. We build something new. It has challenges. We fine tune it till it works well for us. Every technology we're comfortable with using today started out that way. They started out with issues and we ironed it out. Are there any phones using silicon carbon batteries out in the market already? Oh yes, there are. The OnePlus 13 is one. It has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. The Xiaomi 15 has a 5,400 milliamp hour battery. The Xiaomi 15 Ultra has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. There's the Oppo Find X and a number of others. But have you noticed that all the manufacturers, all the phone brands I have listed are from across the ocean. They are all from China. The more US centric phone manufacturers like Apple, Samsung, Google Pixel are not playing around with silicon carbon yet. Yes, they tend to be the conservative ones. They are conservative with battery capacity. They are conservative with fast charging and all that. They are conservative with a lot of things. A lot of the cutting edge innovative stuff tends to happen with Chinese phone manufacturers. So it may take you, it may take a while for you to find silicon carbon in an Apple phone, in an iPhone. It may take a while to see a silicon carbon battery in a Samsung phone or in a Google Pixel phone. Now, the interesting thing is that both Apple and Samsung are pushing for ultra-thin smartphones this year. The iPhone 17 Slim or iPhone 17 Air, depending on what it's going to be officially called when it's released, has been rumored as a super slim iPhone that is going to hit the market this year. Will Apple put in a silicon carbon battery to ensure that it has a robust battery capacity and good battery life, we'll find out. On the side of Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge is expected to also be announced as an ultra slim smartphone. Will Samsung use a silicon carbon battery in that device? Time will tell, we'll find out. But eventually, as with all innovation, every manufacturer 
will come on board. It doesn't matter how long they delay, they'll come on board eventually. This is just one of the possible solutions to providing better battery life in modern smartphones. Newer technologies are constantly being played with and experimented with and will come up over time. The important thing is that you and I should never have to worry about running out of battery in a few hours because a phone manufacturer wants to create something fancy. We need to get past that stage and it looks like we will. Silicon carbon batteries are actually a development of lithium ion batteries and they offer more robust battery capacity compared to lithium ion batteries. Of course, most phones are still going to keep using lithium ion batteries for a while. For now, you will find silicon carbon batteries only in premium flagship devices because they are costly. The manufacturing process is costly. The materials used are costly. Eventually, as with all new technology, this will trickle down to the mid range and then to go down to entry level, maybe in six years, maybe in 10 years. That's how it works. Don't forget to like this video, follow my channel, turn on your notifications. I have lots of helpful, useful information like this to share with you. I'll see you in my next video.